Tributes have been pouring in for the writer Maeve Binchy, who has died at the age of 72. The president, Michael D. Higgins, described her as an outstanding novelist with the capacity to engage, entertain and surprise, while the Taoiseach said we have lost a national treasure. Maeve Binchy was one of Ireland's best-selling authors, selling over 40 million books worldwide during a 30-year career. Maeve Binchy grew up in Dalkey in a house full of books. The area's village atmosphere inspired her and was to be reflected in much of her later work. She trained and worked as a teacher and letters written home during her summer holidays alerted her family to her skill as a journalist. She then began working with the Irish Times and became woman's editor, one of a group of pioneering female journalists at that paper. She moved to the paper's London office and married the writer Gordon Snell. The two remained inseparable and in later years wrote together in the same study. In 1982, Maeve published her first novel, Light a Penny Candle, which became a bestseller and featured many of the elements that were to characterise her work, life in small town Ireland, family relationships, humour and gripping plots. I regard myself completely as a storyteller and I don't uh, regard myself as, as a very uh, literary uh, writer whose works need to be examined in any way such to tell a story. When I'm, when I'm writing I, I kind of imagine I'm talking to a friend and I say wait till I tell you and I start away like that. Several of her novels and stories were adapted for screen including Circle of Friends. Don't be angry, please. Come and dance. You must miss me about. I know I may look like a rhinoceros, but I've got quite a thin skin, really. Among the many awards she received were the Irish Pen Award and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Irish Book Awards. Loved by readers all over the world, she is survived by her husband, Gordon.